Okay, so if everybody's organised, we'll get started. So remember, really important um, to stay relaxed. Um, as usual, to feel a wee bit anxious um, and worried at these uncertain times. Um, but by doing some relaxation exercises, some nice gentle breathing, it can help. Um, also really important to get some me time uh, as well. So we'll get started. Is everybody ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're already. Yep, fantastic, excellent. So we're just gonna start, feet hip width apart, roll your shoulders up, round and down, nice and gentle. Okay, now we're gonna focus on our breathing to begin with. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice, deep, controlled breathing. Fantastic, all the way down into the stomach and then as you breathe out, all the way up nice and slowly and just keep rolling the shoulders. That's great. Okay, well next we're going to focus on our posture. Posture is very important too. So let's hold those shoulders back and down. Imagine you have that pencil in between your shoulder blades and just squeeze the shoulder blades together. you also feel that nice stretch across the chest. Fantastic. Okay, and thirdly we're just going to empty the mind. Just relax the mind. Get about all the lists that we have in our heads, all the negative thoughts, just let them float away. Remember when you're doing this, you can play some nice relaxing music if you wish as well, if that helps you relax. Okay, so find your nice happy place. Sit. Could be outside in the garden, could be in your bed. Find your nice happy place. Great. And we're now going to place one hand on the shoulder and we're just going to circle those shoulders. That nice big shoulder rolls. Lovely. And ease that elbow up to the ceiling. Nice and high. And you still rock those finger blades. Walk those fingers right down the shoulder blades. That's it. And then stretch up to the ceiling, keeping the knees nice and soft, but lifting from the hips upwards, stretching the rib cage. Lovely, looking good, everybody. That's it, fantastic. And just a nice wee stretch over to the side, so we feel that stretch up through the obliques. And walk over, hands on the other shoulder, and just a nice shoulder roll. Lovely. While you're doing that, I'm just going to take my glasses off. Great. Looking good, everybody. Yep. Keep rolling that shoulder. And ease the elbow up. That's it. Lovely. And walk the fingers down the shoulder blades as far as you can. Great. And stretch up. Nice big stretch, keeping those knees nice and soft. And then just a wee lean over to the side. Great. Okay, back to your nice big shoulder rolls. We're going to focus on that breathing again. So breathing in through the nose. And slowly out through the mouth. And we're going to focus on our navel and we're going to pull our navel up into our spine. So we've got a nice neutral spine, nice strong core. Pulling the navel into the spine. Lovely. That's it. Just keep rolling those shoulders. And we're going to place our hands on our hips and we're just going to gently circle the hips now. Sit. Are those knees still soft? Good. Looking good. 
Okay, I can't see you still today, so while you're rolling your hip, I'm just going to come over and look in and see if you're all there. Yep, give me a thumbs up if you're all there. Great, lovely. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you all. Sit, keep circling those hips. And change direction. You're taking it round the other way. That's it. Lovely. Okay, from here we're going to bring our feet together, knees together, bend our knees, place our hands on our thighs and we're just going to circle the knees. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. And change direction. slowly come up from here now you can use your chair if you wish for balance so knees nice and soft again just lift one leg up nice strong core and we're just going to flex the ankles so pointing the toes up to the ceiling and forward that's it just remembering to keep checking in on your breathing nice and slowly all the way down to the stomach and then slowly all the way up And can we make a circle? Great. And change direction. And a figure of eight. Lovely, great figures of eight. Okay, bring that foot down. Give the legs a wee shake and take the other leg up. Always remember, supporting legs slightly bent. Nice strong core, are those tummy muscles still pulled in? Yep, that's it. And just flex the ankle, toes to the ceiling and then to the floor. And make a circle. And change direction. And figure of eight. Lovely. Looking good, everybody. And bring that foot down. Okay, we're going to do some work on our neck now. And so we're going to roll the shoulders up, round, and down. And we're just going to take the neck round to one side. And we're going to hold it for each side for 10 seconds. It's really important if you're using your tablet or computer a lot. Um, even if you've been doing a lot of reading, really important just to do these neck stretches every day. Okay, so first of all, we're going to take it over to the sides. Just feel that big stretch down the neck. And then back to center. And then just round to the other side. Nice big stretch. Back to center. This time we're going to take the chin down to the chest. Always focusing on your breathing. And back to centre. And this time we're going to take it up. Taking the chin up to the ceiling, not too far. And back to centre. Okay, now I'm going to give you a side view for this one. I want you to take your arm behind your body. And then I want you to take your nose and look at your shoulder with your nose. And you can feel that lovely big stretch all the way down the neck. That and release. And we'll do the other side. Take the arm behind. 
and nose pointing to the shoulder. Again, feel that lovely big stretch. And back to centre. Okay, from here, just pulse them both arms nice and gently. Does that feel better already? Fantastic, and back to centre, shoulder roll, hands on the hips, and we're just going to warm up the pelvis again, and you're going to give me a nice pelvic tilt. So we're just rocking the pelvis backwards and forwards, sticking the tailbone out, and then in. So focus on your navel, pull your navel up into your spine, imagine it's even on a piece of string, and you're just rocking that pelvis backwards and forwards. Great. Okay, now I want you to hold it in the centre and this is your neutral spine. Your knees are still nice and soft, but from your pelvis upwards, I want you to stretch your body. Imagine somebody's pulling you up nice and tall. Great. Nice strong core, nice neutral spine. Fantastic. Okay, so from here, we're going to keep that nice neutral spine and we're going to move on to the floor. Okay, everybody nice and comfortable on the floor? Yeah, great. Okay, so from here, feet as close to your bottom as you feel comfortable, feet hip width apart. Again, just check there's not a big gap between your back and the floor. The back is flat against the floor. Again, pulling your navel down into your spine, down into the floor. Hands by your side. And we're just going to start off with a big deep breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull those shoulders down to your hips. Yep. Pulling those shoulders down to the hips, relaxing those shoulders down. So take a few big deep breaths like this. And on the next one, we're going to inhale, exhale out, and we're going to roll the pelvis up off the floor. That's it. And we're going to hold for four. And we're going to roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Remember your spine is made up of lots of vertebrae. So just roll that down. And roll it up. This one we're going to hold for four. Fantastic. And roll down. On the next one, we're going to hold it up there and we're going to add in an arm movement. So inhale, exhale out, roll up, hold, and with our arms, we're just going to take it behind the body. Imagine you're swimming, the deep blue sea, sun is beating down, nice big stretch. Lovely. Okay, with both arms, keeping that pelvis up nice and strong. Working the glutes too. Bring the arms back to your side and just gently roll down. Well done. Okay. And again, inhale, exhale out, and roll up. This time, we're going to extend out the leg. Okay, pointing the toes in a nice diagonal. Lovely. Just keep focusing on your breathing, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And bring that foot back to the floor. And roll down. Are we ready to do the other leg? 
let's go. Inhale, exhale out and roll up. Hold some pelvis up nice and strong. Extend that leg. Nice diagonal and hold. Remember, never hold your breath. Always keep breathing and bring it down. Well done and roll down. Fantastic. Okay, from here, check your feet again. Close to your bottom as you feel comfortable. Bring your feet together, arms out wide. And we're just going to drop the knees round side to side. Okay, just get to be twist in the waist. Hope the sun is shining where you are. It's lovely it's shining in the window just now. And on this one, I want you to hold the knees right to the side. And I want you to take both arms and your head in the opposite direction. So you get that nice big stretch down through your oblique. And we'll rest the other side, take the knees to the other side, bring the arms and your head round. Get a nice big stretch. Lovely. And back to centre. Great. Okay, from here, I want you to bring your knees right to one side. Take your arm and just slowly walk up. Great. I'm going to do our mermaid stretch. So again, find a sitting position which should have been comfortable if it's sitting cross leg. That's fine. Preferably with your knees bent, right? Okay, I'm going to stretch up to the ceiling. Okay, and we're just going to take the elbow down to the floor and stretch over as far as we can. Nice big stretch. Great, and come up and over. And we're going to go over again. Nice big stretch. Pushing those fingertips away as far as we can. Lovely. And one more. Stretch up to the ceiling first. Over to the side and come down and rest on your elbow. Lovely. And back over. Walk your legs round to the other side. Remember, if you find this uncomfortable, you can do it cross-legged, hands by your side, and we're going to stretch up to the ceiling, come down onto our elbows, and just lean over to the side. Pushing our fingertips away, open up all the rib cage, and back over. And again. That's it, nice rainbow shape, that's it, and push away. And one more. That's it. And back up. Fabulous, well done everybody. Okay, from here, we're going to work on our lower back and our hips. Okay, so again, feet hip once apart. And I want you to sit up nice and straight. We call this back in the spine. Nice and straight. Just take hold of your, behind your thighs, just nice and gently. Just rest in your hands nice and gently. From here, I want you to imagine you have a dial on your hips and we're just going to dial our lower back. Okay, so just work in the hips and the pelvis and come back up. And again, inhale, exhale out 
and just roll the lower back down. Don't go too far, just go as far as you feel comfortable. And again, inhale, exhale down. Can we go down a bit further this time? Yep, great. And slowly back up. Okay, so when we're doing this exercise, make sure your abdominals are engaged, your navel is still pulled in. So inhale, exhale up, and roll down, just curving that lower back. Okay, and roll back up. So we make this slightly harder, if you wish. Take your arms out. Remember, you work at your own level. And we're just going to roll down. And roll back up. Roll down. And roll back up. Fantastic. This is a nice gentle exercise where we're engaging the core muscles and the lower back, the hips and the pelvis. And stop there, bring it down. Well done everybody. From here, we'll rest onto your tummies. Hands shoulder distance apart. Chin tucked under, so I'm going to look at the floor for this one. Really important that we're looking at the floor. Going to inhale as we exhale out. We're going to lift the upper body up off the floor and looking forward. Feel that big stretch through the spine and slowly take it down. Sucking the chin down as we go. And again, inhale, exhale out, slowly come up. And looking forward. This is called your swan stretch, nice and graceful. And take it down. Okay, this time, if you want to make it a wee bit harder, you can come up onto fully extended arms. So inhale, exhale out, and slowly come up. And just extend the arms, just keeping the elbows nice and soft. Lovely big stretch and take it down, tuck the chin down. Inhale, exhale up, slowly come up, lengthen that spine. Beautiful. And slowly come down. Okay, extend out one arm and bring one foot up to your bottom. Okay, push your hips down into the floor, look into the floor and feel that big stretch up through the front of the thigh, up through your quad, nice big stretch. Always focusing on your breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And change legs, bring the other foot up, chin to the floor, and push your hips down. And release. Okay, hands shoulders distance apart, come up onto all fours. Okay, just, so just check yourself. Knees, hip width apart, hands, shoulders distance apart. Focus on your navel, pull your navel up into your spine. And we're going to do our lovely cat stretch. So inhale, as you exhale out, tuck the chin down into the chest and arch the back. From here, inhale, exhale out. Lengthen the spine, stick the tailbone out and looking forward. Always remember, keep the navel nice and strong, keep it pulled up. 
into the spine. And again, inhale, exhale out, arch up, tuck that chin down into the chest, arch that back. And down, lengthen the spine, looking forward, pulling that navel up into the spine. Great. One more, inhale, exhale up, tuck the chin down into the chest, arch up. And bring it back down to neutral. Fantastic. Everybody okay? Yeah? Great. Give me a thumbs up, everybody, if you're okay. Great. Perfect. Okay. From here, we're going to add in a wee twist to the waist. Also helps with neck as well. So, again, hips square to the floor, shoulders square to the floor. We're going to inhale. And we're going to exhale out. As we exhale out, we're just going to bring that arm up and take it up to the ceiling and fall around with our head. And slowly back down. Okay, rest to the other side. Inhale, exhale out, and fall that hand round. And back down. Again, check your starting position. Hips stay square to the floor. Inhale, exhale out. Follow that hand round. Take it as far around as you feel comfortable. Keeping those hips square to the floor. And back down. Again, inhale, exhale out. We'll do two more of these. And back down. Well done, everybody. Okay, from here, we're going to our child's pose, sitting back on our feet. Chin tucked under, taking a moment to yourself and just stretch those fingertips away from your toes. Let all the tension out your shoulders, let it move down through the arms, out through the fingers. Lovely, beautiful stretch. Enjoy that stretch. And slowly come up. That's it. Just use your hands nice and slowly. Come on to your knees. Again, you can use your chair if you need to. And we're just going to take one knee out in front. I'll do it sideways to give you a better view. Okay, so from here, this is. Stage one, stage two, and we just want you to push forwards with your hips so we get a nice big stretch of the hip flexors, nice strong core. And we're just going to stretch up to the ceiling. Again, lengthening that spine and slowly down. Again, inhale, exhale out, stretch all the way up. Nice strong core. And slowly down. Once more, inhale, exhale out, stretch all the way up, push forward with those hips, nice big stretch, and slowly down. Lovely. Okay, change leg. Take the other leg out. Position one. Position two. Pushing forward with the hips so we feel that big stretch and inhale and exhale out. Again, feel that big stretch to the rib cage. Push up nice and tall. Imagine somebody's pulling you up with a piece of string 
and slowly down and again inhale exhale up stretch up lovely and slowly down once more inhale exhale up And slowly down. Beautiful. Okay, from here back onto all fours. Tuck your toes under your knees and just nice and slowly walk yourself up, making sure your head is the last thing to come up. Just walk your hands up your legs, unroll your shoulders and bring your heads up. Well done everybody. Okay, if you get yourself your chair. Everybody feeling okay? Yeah, and get yourself a quick drink as well if you wish. And we'll do our nice relaxing breathing exercise. Okay, so we get a wee drink? Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we'll start with a few stretches. So shuffle forwards in your chair. Take a heel out. Again, pull yourself up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale out. Slide down that leg. Keep looking forward. And just tap on your fingers nice and gently on the leg just to keep the blood circulating. And slowly come up. And take the other heel out. Again, inhale. Exhale down. Slowly come down the leg. Keep the fingers tapping on the leg. Remember, don't go too far. Never overstretch. And slowly come up. Great. Okay, set your feet hip ones apart. Pulling yourself up nice and tall in the chair. Give the shoulders a wee roll. Great. Lift one shoulder up. Take the arm across the body. Head in the opposite direction. Let's feel that nice stretch across the shoulders. Everybody feeling nice and relaxed? Yes? Good. And release. Lift up with the other shoulder, arm across the body. And release. Okay, take one hand, take it to the opposite hip. And look around over your shoulder as far as you can. And uh, right to the other side, opposite hands, opposite hip, and look around over your shoulder as far as you can. And uh, release. Hands on your shoulders, ease the elbow up to the ceiling, walk those fingers down your back as far as you can. And nice big stretch, wiggle down, hands on the other shoulder, elbow up, stretch up, and bring it down. Well done, that's your stretch is finished. Now just sit back in your chair, nice and comfortably. Okay, you can place your hands on your stomach and we're just going to focus now on our breathing. Okay, so we're going to take a nice big deep breath in. We're going to breathe in for five, all the way down into our stomach. And then we're going to slowly breathe out for five. As you breathe out, I just want you to repeat the word calm. 
Okay, you can say the words come out loud or you can just say it nice and gently, softly in your head. It's up to you. Okay, so just relax and enjoy this end part. Inhale. Exhale out. Calm. You should feel nice and relaxed. Just take a wee moment, enjoy the feeling, and uh, just slowly open your eyes. Great. So everybody should feel nice and relaxed now. When you're doing that exercise on your own, uh, you can do it up to the count of 10 repetitions. Again, as I said before, it can help to promote sleep as well if you're finding it hard to sleep. Okay, another wee tip, um, if you are feeling a bit anxious, uh, palm of your hand and just pressing lightly on the palm of your hand, making a circle. If you just do that for a few minutes, this is your solar plexer and this can just help reduce tension and anxiety. Either hand, yep, just start in the centre bit of pressure and just circling round. Okay, well I hope you all enjoyed that everybody. I did, so I feel nice and relaxed now. Um, so next week it will be a pre-recorded one, so I will see you all in a fortnight's time. Okay, take care, be safe everybody.